India is gearing up for one of its most ambitious defence projects ever, a complete transformation of the Indian Air Force. With regional threats rising and an ageing fleet struggling to keep pace, the race to modernise is on. But can India's indigenous fighter jet programmes really meet the challenge? Let's find out, the Advanced Median Combat Aircraft, or AMCA, is India's answer to the world's most advanced fifth-generation fighter jets. Designed with cutting-edge stealth technology, internal weapons base, and next-gen avionics, the AMCA promises to rival the likes of the F-35 and Su-57, but there's a catch. Despite its ambitious design, the AMCA is still in the prototype stage. With its first flight only expected by 2028 and entry into service by 2035. By then, global air forces may already be deploying sixth generation fighters. So, can the AMCA keep up? India's neighbors aren't waiting. China's J 20 stealth fleet is growing fast, and Pakistan's F 16s are already battle tested. The pressure is on for India to rapidly modernize and strengthen its air capabilities. The Multirole Fighter Aircraft, or MRFA program, plans to acquire 114 advanced jets, possibly with transfer of technology and local manufacturing. This could be a golden opportunity for India's defense industry. Or a massive distraction from developing indigenous fighters like the AMCA DOT. Funding issues, delays, and uncertainty around which jets will come with thought have slowed down the program. And there's one big question, will foreign jets overshadow India's own development efforts? The road ahead won't be easy, developing stealth technology is complex and expensive. India needs materials and designs that minimize radar detection, then there's the challenge of integrating advanced avionics and electronic warfare systems, cutting-edge tech that requires highly skilled engineers and expertise India is still building. The AMCA is expected to start with the G-414 engine, but for long-term sustainability, India must develop its own indigenous power plant, and budget constraints remain a major hurdle especially with the MRFA program competing for resources, delays are another risk. We've seen this before with the Tejas program, where changing specifications mid-development caused significant setbacks. The AMCA could face the same fate if not managed carefully, India's private defence sector is ready to step up. The Tata Group is already gaining aircraft integration experience with the Airbus C-295 project Larsen Tobro brings mass manufacturing capabilities, while companies like Godrej and Azad Engineering supply critical components for HAL projects. But many private players remain hesitant, waiting for the AMCA's design to finalize before making big investments. A joint venture between HAL and private firms could accelerate production and innovation, but it needs proper support and funding. The MRFA program brings both opportunities and risks. On the positive side, it offers access to advanced technology through transfer of technology and the potential to enhance India's manufacturing infrastructure, but on the flip side, Heavy investment in MRFA could divert funds and focus away from the AMCA. India also risks continued dependence on foreign suppliers for critical components. The Indian Air Force aims for 42 operational squadrons by 2035, but current projections suggest it may only reach 35 or 36. By 2042, the goal is to have a fully indigenous fighter fleet. The AMCA and its future variants will play a crucial role if they stay on track, so the big question remains, can India rise to the occasion and build a world-class fighter jet fleet? Or will delays and distractions cost us air dominance? The clock is ticking, what do you think? Should India prioritize the AMCA or fast-track the MRFA? Let us know in the comments.